Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. In the last episode, I made it to Rustboro City while Alex made it to the gym in Rustboro City. Yes, I am in the first gym leader's gym right now, battling a level 8 Geodude, which I just defeated, and hopefully grow to level 11, which we do. And I'm in Cutter's house, going to get the HMO on cut so I can cut things. Yes, and he's going to send in another Geodude now, youngster Josh. I actually have a oh. friend Josh in college. Woo! Oh, that scared me for a second. Yeah, so if you're watching this, Josh, I'm talking about you, Joshua Zalasco. I was just gonna say his name. Yes. And the Geodudes are actually declining in level. It went from like level 8 to level 6. And I defeat six. Josh. 10 to 8 to 6. 10 to 8 to 6. Oh, 10 was in the last episode. I forgot about him. Yippers! And I'm gonna battle the second youngster of this gym. Hopefully, it's not youngster Joey, but I think he's somewhere in Ruby and Sapphire. If it's youngster Joey this time, I'm punching you in the face. No, 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 no. It's Youngster Tommy. Oh, so close. You got lucky, dude. Yes, he has a level 11 Geodude. My gosh, Youngsters, get another Pokemon other than Geodude. I'm just going to absorb all of its strength like a vampire, I guess. No, you're not a vampire. Anyways, I'm- Critical gonna... hit! Yes! Anyways, like I was trying to say, I'm going to be exploring this city and then going to go take on Roxanne. Get it? Roxanne. Uh, she's the first gym leader that uses rock types. I get it. Exactly. <laughs> That's so like a funny. joke I would make. Are we? Yeah, I'm punny too, you know. I know. And I'm actually battling Roxanne right now after I hear all of the stupid things she has to say about Pokemon. No one cares. Just give me the gym badge. She wants, it, she wants us to teach her some things. Usually uh -huh, it's all the way around. I Usually they... Yeah, well, it's actually funny because she is a teacher. Yeah, I know. You better know, dude. Anyways, back to the gym fight. Yes, I'm going to take down this level 14 Geodude with Absorb. And it's going for the useless defense curl. Why do that? I don't know. And I'm just going to explore town like a useless person does. I know, considering that uh, Absorb is four times effective and it's a special move, I don't even know why Roxanne is trying at this point. And you're a modest nature. Yeah, I know. And she goes for a potion to restore Geodude's health. I can't emphasize that enough that you have modest nature. Why can't I get modest nature with my Pokemon? Don't worry, Ralts has a very terrible nature and it is going to suck forever. I'm just thoroughly convinced of that. That's why you'll sweep with Calmind, even though we promise not to do that. Yes, I'm going to buy some Calcium Sword eventually. Whoa, you can't get ahead of yourself now. I'm just gonna boost my special attack. Yeah, EV train it and special attack even though it has a lower, or nature that lowers it. Yes, and Roxanne already used her two potions on her worthless Geodude, which I somehow can't kill, but it barely has any HP negative one, as Jacob would say. You took my fire. I did, or your thunder. Thunder, just, that's it. Just pick an element and go with it and say I stole it. PK, fire! Okay, we'll fire. play Earthbound a different day. Exactly. And Mugiwara wants to learn nature power, and I will probably delete, uh, let's see, Astonish for nature power, just because I have no use for Astonish at this point in the game. It's just useless to me. Yeah, it's a physical move, and plus you're giving it another physical move. Exactly. If anything, I will just get Fake Out for flinching. Yeah, but that's bad. Because it's physical. You want yeah, special. Yeah, I know, but I still like flinching anyway. Alright, we'll just go with whatever you want to do. And now Roxanne is going to send in a level 15 nose pass. Which kind of reminds me of my old art teacher, just because his nose was funny. But that's a story for a different How day. many times are you going to say stuff about our old art teacher? I like my school? old art teacher. I miss him ever since he retired. I go to high school now and I can only see my foods teacher because... But he's because... not retired. Yeah, he is. Well, he's not retired. He's he's teaching in Mosinee. Is he? Yes, I told you this already. My... He no, lied what? to us. He lied to us. He's, he's teaching part-time there. No, no. What? I see him in Fleet Farm. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, anyway, my art teacher lied to me, so I'm just going to use Absorb on Nose Pass and hopefully kill it out. I remember when I was actually playing this, and Jacob was like, switch out, switch out, he's going to kill you. And I was like, Jacob, I have this in the bag, man. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. And at this point, I thought I know what I was doing, and it turns out that I do because I hopefully killed off this turn. It goes for Rock Throw. I don't want to become the champion. Ooh, 6 HP. Hopefully I get a critical now and kill it what off. What makes you think I want to be the champion? I don't know, because that's the point of the game. No, Jacob just wants to do contests. And I'm finally in the gym, about darn time. No kidding, and I just defeated Roxanne, the first gym leader of the Hoenn region. And Mugiwara grows to level 14, and we all know what that means. Are we getting a new Pokemon already? Yes, we are getting a new Pokemon already. And she's like, gosh, I guess I can give you the first League badge. What? Mugiwara is evolving! Do, 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 hey, Seed Dot, I'm gonna ruin him, Alex. Seed Dot's gonna kill this dude, dude, Bullet Seed. I'm ruining it for you. I'm ruining it for you. Ha. And bam! We get the second evolved form of. Actually, the first evolved form of. Lotad, which is Lombre. Oh, Lombre, you're getting to be so jolly. Even though it's impish. Yes, I know. 
Anyway, we have a Lombre right now, so that's pretty cool. It's oh, our first I Pokemon to evolve. Up. I crack myself up. And we received the Stone Badge from Roxanne. Wow, creative nicknames, or creative badge names, huh? Yes, and it heightens our Pokemon's attack, and we can now use Cut Outside of Battle. We also get TM39, which contains Rock Tomb, which is a very annoying Why move. Why would it raise your attack? Shouldn't it raise your defense, since it's Rock-type Pokemon? It should, but it just said it raises my attack, so I'm going to go with that. That makes no sense. I know, but I'm not complaining, considering my Torchic could use it. Oh, Captain Falcon, why haven't you evolved yet? Because we're suck and they're not going to evolve for a while. I know, there's a giant level difference between my Pokemon. It goes 14, 12, 7. Well, I guess Ivankov is going to be... Oh, Ivankov, Ivan yeah. I guess he's going to be behind the whole LP. And what? We see another Team Aqua grunt, and the man from the forest, he's like, Wait, don't take my goods! Ooh, what goods are those? Some cookies? Team Aqua is a cookie thief. Well, Team Magma's a cookie thief, too. Yes, the Team Aqua Grunt stole his cookies. Well, those are my goods anyway. Oh, that, I don't that's know. what we say. They're cookies right now. They could be some in a, unimportant object for all we know. Yeah, they could be something to build ships with or something we have to give to some guy later. But and My probably slave not. has an item, but I don't really care right now. I didn't notice it. Yes, and I'm doing the opposite of Jacob like usual now and going to get cut from this guy. From this half bald man. I don't know. It's funny that all the characters look the same, like in every Pokemon game, but I and like the half bald man. And he says not to be best. modest and take the HM. Yeah, I'm like, oh, I guess I could take Cut. I need it for the next adventure anyway. Exactly, and I'm gonna go for a water gun, Mr. Clean. Actually, making things clean. Cleaning like, up the mess in the rock gym. I get it, never. Okay, enough right, with my funny uh, jokes. I'm done. No, you're not. That's a lie. I know you're gonna have another pun sooner or later. I know, and I'm going around and talking to everyone in town, and this lady was talking about the Devon Corporation, but I don't really give a crap about that. They're gonna revive our fossils later on. Yes, I am supposed to go help the Devon Corporation man, but I'm like, uh, he can wait, his cookies are already stolen. Hey, and don't get any ideas, guys, we're not using fossils this time around. No, we are not. And this little girl slash boy, I can't tell what it is, but they give us a Premier Ball. Which we can actually get in the Poke Mart if we buy 10 Pokeballs at a time. Yep, that, why, that means if you're going to buy any more, just buy 10 at a time. That way you can get the Premier Ball with it. Because if you buy 20, you only get one Premier Ball. Yeah, but the Premier Balls have the same catch rate as Pokeballs. So it doesn't really it's matter. all the same in the it's end, It's really. free. It's free. Yes, you can't beat free things. Uh, eh. uh, yeah, we'll just go with that. Exactly what I thought. And I'm going to go back down the stairs. You know what really bothers me? What's that? You can't run in houses. That has always made me upset. Well, Especially I think in hacks you can. Well, in hacks you can. They actually did that intelligently. Like, hey, look what we've added to this hack. You can run inside houses. Well, thank God. In fourth gen, they added that, though. Yeah, I know. But it was just annoying. <clears throat> At least going from that to Ruby and Sapphire was like, hmm, I can't run in houses anymore. Well, I guess I'm in trouble. And my speed's gonna drop. But guess what? I am a genius. And look what I did. I attached an orange berry to my Pokemon, which I totally forgot about, to be honest. Yeah, so you're back up to 24 HP, and hopefully you can kill off. Are you on Roxanne already? Oh, or just use X-Fen, Jacob. Use X-Fen. Come on, go for it. Go for it. Yes! I am a genius. And like usual, Jacob is the strategist, and I just attack. I have growth. <laughs> oh, I use God. growth. Even though I have an impish nature, I use growth. Oh, don't bring growth back again. Please don't bring growth back. I never had growth last time. Oh, I thought you oh, did. Oh, did I? Yes, I did. Never mind. That's you're what right. you used to defeat uh, Lenora in black and white. Yep, you're you're right, dude. You're right. Oh, yes. Oh, speaking of which, for one of our next split screen adventures, we're gonna do like a what? What did you think of before? Oh, we're gonna do kind of like a roulette thing where um, we put numbers in a hat and then we pick numbers out. Say I got number one, which is Bulbasaur in the National Pokedex. And I'm like, oh, Jacob, I guess you're stuck with Bulbasaur now. Well, basically, we're, we'd only do it for that Pokedex. So, like, if you're doing Johto, we do the Johto Pokedex. Yeah, so but on we're and so forth. Just gonna match numbers to Pokemon. That way, we have a completely randomly generated team, and we pick each other. So, I don't know. I could be stuck with three Grass guys. It just makes you more versatile of a trainer. Or it makes you think differently. It's really interesting, to say the least. Yeah, but we're gonna put up kind of like a vlog about that, like showing how we picked everything, and then we're gonna put it in the first part of the Let's Play. So that'll be fun. I'm using Harden too. Oh gosh. <laughs> Metapod uh... use Harden. That reminds me of Smosh's. Uh, is that the third Pokemon in real life video that they put up? In two. No, they have one now with Metapod in it. Since when did they upload that? I don't know, but um, they use Pikachu against Metapod, and then he's like, Metapod, use Harden! And then eventually, it's like three hours later, he gets him down to one HP, and it's like, old man used full restore. And then he just brings out Charizard, he's like, Charizard, use Flamethrower! Oh, I remember that one, but I thought that was the second one. No, that's the newest one they just brought out, actually. 
Well, I don't really know. Yes. And I'm in the trainer school right now, and they're talking to us about being a good student, and we get the Quick Claw, which lets us move first sometimes. Apparently, Bullet Seed's still not going to do a whole lot. Yes. Did I even use Growth? Oh, I guess I'm using it now. Yes, and I'm going to give the Quick Claw to Ivan Kopp because he's obviously the slowest member of my party at this point. You know what's sad? I have an Impish Nature. I use an X Defend. I use Harden. And it's still doing that much damage. I know. And luckily there's no Sharon in this game or the stupid pickup ability because I just attached Orin Berries to my Pokemon. So that Actually, way... Actually, there is a pickup ability. Well, I know that, but I mean it's not used in the same way. I as know, in fifth thank generation. God. Because I was going to say, otherwise I would not dare to use Orin Berries in any of my Pokemon. Well, I do now, because as you just saw with uh, Seed Dot before. Yep, and I'm being smart, because I know the second gym leader will probably be trouble for me. Who knows? CRITICAL HIT! SUCK IT! Oh gosh, and Jacob has to get the critical hit for once. But I got it when I needed it. Actually, I would have won eventually, because I still had my Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. Yes, and I don't think I've gotten any critical hits this episode, but no, I did. I did. Yes, yeah, I got I'm the one. Geodude. I'm the Geodude. I'm the Geodude that I didn't even need. That happens to me all the time. Usually, I get critical hits when I least need them. I'm like, oh, it has one HP left. Critical hit. Well, thank and you very Dark much. Dark Knight just learned Nature Power. I got rid of Bide because I'm not going to use Bide ever. And Nature Power is actually going to come in handy for me, hopefully. Yep, Bide is pretty much CDOT's form of Astonish. Basically, and <laughs> it's so annoying to train up. My guy's more annoying than your guy was. Yeah, I know, because, well, actually, I don't know about that. Yours took time, but Astonish can't hit normal types. <laughs> And, uh, well, you see, there's a lot of zigzagoons in the first couple of rounds. And Pujanas, which is ineffective against. Yes, and I'm just stocking up at the market here, selling and buying things. So basically, we're actually even and equaled out. Yeah, our teams are actually pretty balanced. They kind of reflect each other again, which is kind of We cool. already stated it, I think. Yeah, but I'm just saying it again for anyone that missed that episode. Apparently, I'm going to be the come the champion. And apparently, I've just gotten the first step by getting my first badge. But what's this? Team Magma is going to run away. Anyways, guys, Alex will let you guys go. Have a great day, everyone. We love you all, and we'll see you next time.